Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Wilds National Park, where today, as the rain pours down and hides the mountains in the distance, we are getting ready to continue our work on making this one of the most beautiful national parks that we possibly could have in the pixel biology community. And we're going to start today not with our wonderful proghorns, even though I wish we could spend the entire day with them, but actually by going out, my friends, and taking care of the litter bug problem. Look at this. This is just chaos. Absolute chaos. We have litter bugs running amok in our entire facility. And today we are going to try to do our best to tackle the litter bug problem. Poor litter bug expert Kate cannot do this on her own. This is just like, look at her. She has cleared almost 100 pieces of litter. She has just been going nonstop trying to tackle this problem. And we're going to go ahead and give her a co-worker to help her out. So let's add in ah. Rin. So this is also going to be a litter bug expert because this is just way too big of a task for one person to have to take on. Rin is also going to help out at the Fern Lodge area. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and train her as well. Look at these two working in concert with each other to try to make this a even better place in our natural world. And we're going to help them out as well by putting down some smooth rock here so that the grass is a little more managed. I love how we have huge rose bushes that people get to walk next to on their way through here. That's so cool. All right, there we go. And then people can come over here to come see our wolves. And we do want to try to attract them over to this side of our national park with even more, oh, animal has, a fall has escaped. Tanner, where are you going? You little escape, don't drown. Oh my gosh. Oh my good gravy! There's two of them! What are you two doing? Who knows how long she's been stuck down there? Oh my gosh! I can't believe that we had that poor little baby. Is she okay? They need some hard shelter. Oh my gosh! Are you guys okay? What an adventurous duo! I love them! I want to give them some special- look at how many babies we have over here! Heck, we don't even have a male in here. Like, these- these, like, females were just pregnant when it was time to come on over. And we have a little albino one! Oh my gosh, you know what? Let's name all of these babies because apparently these are some extremely adventurous little, um, little foals that we have. I do believe- yeah, you call them foals. So, let's see, we've got one girl, two girls, and a boy. And we don't want him to escape, but we're going to name him Rocky. Thank you very much to Quinn for suggesting that name. Keep those comments coming, friends, and then you might end up picked by the random comments generator. Uh, and let's come on over. And Tiffany, I would love to add in grizzly bears, but for now, we'll add in a little foal named, or a little, uh, yeah, they're foals, named after you. And then finally, we're going to come in and have little Ember. What a fun name to go ahead and name her Ember when she is actually an albino antelope. Doing a good job of trying to hide that fact by being covered up by mud right now. All right, that's adorable. Uh, let's actually take care of them since they, they definitely caught my attention. They need a hard shelter. So how am I going to build them a nice naturalistic looking hard shelter? The answer, my friends, is rocks. <laughs> uh, in fact, you know, oh, let's make like a little sort of hobbit rock area. How to explain what I mean? Like, we'll cover it with moss. First, let's go ahead and get some rocks up. How tall? This tall. So let's get some rock cladding up to kind of make like a nice spot there. And then let's put some rocks on top like so, but then we're going to angle it downward like this because I think that'll kind of make a little bit of a shelter. And let's replace that rock with moss cladding instead. Where's the dynamic moss? That's what I really want. Here it is. The dynamic mossy rock. 
Let's see what we can do with that. Maybe like so, or maybe I want the big one. But the big one's a little too big. That was my thinking. Hmm. All right, I don't think the dynamic mossy rock is going to work the way I want it, unfortunately. So back to the normal rocks. All right, let's try to slope that down. And over, and over a little more. Then back up. And we'll give Rocky and the rest of the crew here hopefully a little bit of shelter this way. I don't know if that's going to be enough, and I definitely... Uh, why does... Like, you try to go naturalistic, and it's just really difficult. It just sometimes doesn't want to play along. But I feel better. Oh dear, and another animal escaped. From in here? Is it Rocky again? It's Ember! She's loose! <laughs> All right, the babies are finding their way out from here, so we're going to have to add in some rocks and some barricades uh, to prevent that. But now they at least have, they have 14% of a hard shelter. That didn't help nearly as much as I was hoping. <laughs> what if I scooch this back a little? Does that help? Can you guys, can you guys get over here? We have so much to do. Oh yeah, it's because they can only access a teensy tiny bit of that. Rocky! He's loose again, friends! He has managed to go ahead and get himself loose once more. Oh my word. Alright, we're gonna have to like raise up. I think we need a second rock here. To convince Rocky to stop that silliness. Uh, and I need to scoot this back a little. To give them a bit more area to go. Wait, do we still have somebody else? Tiffany! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't think anyone's that upset! We have a little lost lamb! Look at her! Oh my word! Tiffany! You have like really, really, really managed to get loose this time. I can't believe this. Where are you going? Where do you think you belong, little one? Heck! Oh my gosh! I can't believe like she's just on the loose. Alright, Tiffany. Let's call the vet. Nobody seems alarmed by her. We're already overflowing on trash. She's eating out of the bin! That's it! Alright, forget giving them a hard shelter. The fact that we have a baby antelope, baby proghorn antelope, covered in mud, filthy and, and sad and small, that's it. We're, we're taking care of the litter bug issue right now. That's more important than, than giving them some rocks to hide under. Alright, we're adding in another litter bug expert for the whole zoo. Or excuse me, the whole national park. This is going to be little little bug litter bug expert toxic, which sounds like an amazing name to link up. So now we have toxic and we have Ren both added in from our Patreon. By the way, thank you guys so 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 much for making all of these adventures possible. Thanks to the work that you do in our Patreon. And right over here, we have genetic specialist Colleen coming over to take care of that little lost lamb. And let's pay attention to the litter bug issue, my friends. So let's actually see where we have negative impact on guest. And we're going to find the litter. And we're going to take care of the... Okay, that's like gross. That's terribly, horrifically gross. Meat litter. No thank you. Um, and we're going to take care of a few of these spots right now. And, okay, wait. I say that and then... Rocky, for crying out loud! Rocky, come back! Call the vet! Alright. I take back what I just said about us working on the litter bug issue. I need to fix this. I love how we have little lost lambs. They're, they're showing us the error of our ways. Here we go. The error of our ways. They're showing us how... Like, unfortunately polluted, tragically polluted, the land has become and how we need to, like, tidy it up and take care of it. Alright, hopefully that clogs up all of their little escape routes. What the heck? I can't believe I have so many trees that are just, like, floating in midair when they were supposed to be blockading... Blockading my prog horns into place. Um, and we'll make, I wonder if I can make like a little forest 
area for these guys to kind of be like out of sight, out of mind, able to get out of the snow when they need to, but like make this so that people can't really see it. I think that, that this will do, like to make it so they can walk around a few spots. Let's see, animal welfare. Oh, I think I just trapped some of the moms. There we go. Yeah, these, these two got trapped by that. Alright, we'll figure out a way to kind of hide this. Maybe with a spruce tree. Because I want to keep up at least the illusion of the naturalistic look when people come over here. So they don't see like, oh, in the proghorns they hide in a cave. All right, well that's taken care of. Let's keep working on this litter bug issue because the litter bug issue is definitely causing some chaos. I can't believe we had that, that very sad look of a baby. Why on earth is there just a random barrier there? There we go. That very sad look of a tiny little baby clinging to a bit of trash that the humans were leaving behind. That is very, very sad. Uh, here, we'll go ahead and put that right there. Maybe another one somewhere over here. So keep, reduce, reuse, and recycle, friends. Also, look at how cool that is. The snow is getting caught up on these pines. Heck, that's so cool. We need to offer these people some like hot coffee and some places to relax. Let's grab one of our litter bug experts. Because Litterbug Expert Toxic will train everybody. But Litterbug Expert Toxic has no work zone. So we're going to make a new work zone. I haven't made very many, but we're finally getting to the size where it's worth it. Um, and we're going to add in all of this stuff into said work zone. Very nice. Finally, finally, finally. Having this group and this area. And all of this is going to be the the prairie entrance. Uh, we're just going to do this as the pine pack zone. Pine pack prairie zone. So I know it also includes the prairie. There we go. And into the fern lodge zone, I need to add these toilets. Excellent! You know, after so long of just chasing a whole freaking bunch of pine pack prairie zone, please. After so, so long of just chasing a whole bunch of the proghorn antelope around to watch them have babies and chase down that huge and northern song challenge that we took on to make ourselves gold levels Woo! here. Uh, it's really rewarding to be able to get in and start like fixing things behind the scenes <laughs> so that finally we can really start having like highly trained staff. Let's have wildlife botanist Rad stay in the Pine Prack Prairie Zone. Let's go ahead and have wildlife ranger Kiera stay in the Pine Prack Prairie Zone as well. And then let's assign to the Meadow Zone. Yeah, that should be balanced. Okay, good, there we go. We've got staff healthcare. Everybody should be feeling a little bit better soon. Yay, all right, let's check how our litter bug situation is going. All right, we got some litter over here too. On it. Oh no, somebody died. I mean, that does happen at a, a older facility like ours. We do see the rise and fall of so many wonderful members of our national park who truly become like members of the family. Does not hurt to have a few. Actually, I don't think I wanna put a trash can right next to donation bin. <laughs> That just feels weird. Like, people are gonna make a mistake, right? There we go. Put a couple there. Alright. Litter issues. Litter issues down here, you say? Alright. This would have some issues because this is a very cluttered area that we will actually be adding more picnic zones into in the near future. But any other issues? Nice! All right, we've taken good care of the litter. Apparently this mud, this mud that the animals splash around has a negative impact on guests. That is so funny. You guys, you're in the great outdoors. Learn to deal with a little mud, please. Okay, that's hilarious. 
All right, well, we've taken care of all of that. Huzzah! Let's add in a little bug. I want to put in a cute bug over here where we have kind of been like sprucing things up quite literally with some spruce, eh? And I do want to put in a little exhibit to celebrate that today we were working on litter bugs and I'm going to make it a earthworm exhibit, actually. I don't know what we're going to have to quote unquote make the earthworms. Ooh, little, oh, I love this log exhibit. Oh my gosh, I love this log exhibit so much. Yes, please. And we can take off one of the walls on it. In fact, we can take off more than one and make it so people can see this from multiple sides. Not from that side though. Yeah, we'll do this one and this one so people can walk right over. Here, we'll put it a little more like this. I love this. Okay, and then we're gonna have, we'll have a little log side where people can come over on this side too. Like pick your, pick your flavor. You've got multiple angles you can come at. Um, I'll even connect that. Can I connect this? No, that's fine. So people can come and see. Not a frog, but we're gonna have this be... Oh, we could use the giant Amazonian giant centipedes, of course. All right, so we'll have some Amazonian giant centipedes. There's a male and we'll call them our earthworms. And this is going to be our earthworm composting education exhibit. Uh, let's see, do we have any more species? And we're gonna need to work on... All right, Reading and Trade Center. Come here, friend. And let's make sure that we have a very happy earthworm. So earthworm composting education station. That is going to be what we have right here. And then we're gonna do this one. And then let's come on over and make sure that he is happy. Temperature is ideal. Let's get that humidity down just a little bit. And I know how to make a really happy Amazonian giant centipede. We're gonna add in tons of rocks and tons of logs. And I hope people can see him. <laughs> Destiny, what the heck? Destiny just had babies? Nobody told me that Destiny was pregnant. Are you kidding? I missed that. I totally missed that. You guys, we just had puppies. That means we need another, whoops, no, my earthworm exhibit. That means that we actually need to have another hunt, which is making my head spin a little bit. Uh, hang on, we're gonna remove that wall. We're gonna remove this wall. We have new puppies! I bet you guys are more excited about that than my earthworms, but I'm telling you, if you enjoy eating and enjoy like life, you gotta enjoy your earthworms too, friends. They're all, they're all interconnected, okay? All right. And I guess that's gonna settle the proghorn overcrowding area. And actually, I think the proghorn areas where we have overcrowding should be the very first place that we actually search when we are pulling up. Um, come here, come here, friend. But they should be the very first place that we actually search when we are trying to find. Let's increase the temperature a little bit. There we go. Make sure that humidity is just right. Now decrease temperature just a little bit. There. But the overcrowded area should be the very first place that our proghorns go to hunt, or our uh, wolves go to hunt, now that I think about it, uh, more than anything else. So I think because we have an abundance of proghorns, that's gonna be like the first thing that the wolves are actually going to be on the hunt for. And let's come in and match this to the Amazonian giant centipede. Don't mind if I do. And yay! All right! So we have added in our earthworm <clears throat> composting station. We have now managed to clean up the entire facilities quite a bit, which makes me very happy. This place is looking so much better already. I am so tickled. I really love how we are designing everything. I love how it's all coming together. Let's actually put down another couple bench sets over here. In fact, we'll put them a little bit further away from each other. People are complaining. Apparently we just had an escapee again. I swear, I swear. If it is those baby antelope again, 
I don't even know what I'm going to do. Like, that's that's a little hilarious. The fact that, oh, it's the baby antelope. People are running for it. All right, or maybe they just really need to use the restroom. There. Progress! <laughs> a little bit of progress, just a teensy tiny bit at a time, friends. I love it. I love this place. And we're gonna see the wolf pups next time, which is gonna be awesome. But all right, friends. Well, I go ahead. Yule has now escaped because he was tired of the fighting. <laughs> and figure out how our pine wolf pack has expanded. I hope that you are perhaps encouraged to reduce, reuse, and recycle a little bit more and prepare to learn more about the amazing aspects of earthworms. Also, rest in peace, embrace. <laughs> But all right, so I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I cannot wait to continue to expand our national park as we're filling in all of the details, getting things tidied up, uh, hopefully making this an even better place for our animals. And I will see you guys next time. Stay curious, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>